Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I wanted to record something different. Um, I thought about doing a um, clothing haul or like a try on haul for you guys. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. So today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a video of um, outfits that I like to wear in the like fall, winter, where it's a little bit more cold and so dressing up a little cozier is um, the way to go. So today for example i wanted to start off with this outfit so this is um just a cute little sweater dress it's got a little bit of like an opening here um, but the rest is pretty much fully covered and i love 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 to pair this with thigh highs with a black dress you can pair it with any color of boots that you want so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into the video. I know that little introduction was a little bit different, but um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So because I've already gone ahead and started with the dress, so this is more of like a fitted dress, as you can tell. I mean, it's stretchy, it's not, it's comfy. It's, it's like if you were wearing a sweater, it's not like one of those like bodycon dresses where they're super, super fitted. This is just, um, this is just barely like, it's comfy, I don't know how to explain it, but it's comfy. I like to kind of just wear them where they're not super, super tight, like digging into my thighs. But since I've already gone ahead and started with the dress on, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the other, what is it? Um, one, two, I've got three other dresses that I wanna just try on really quickly. And so this is like my go-to for the winter. I love just putting on like a sweater dress. And I'm just popping on some thigh high boots and um, I'm good to go. So let me go ahead and show you guys the second dress. So here is outfit number two. So this is a burgundy, it's like a maroonish colored dress. And here I paired it with um, thigh highs again. These are black and they've got like sparkles all over them. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, so they're comfy. I like all of my thigh high boots um, to be like thicker in the heel. See how these are a little bit thicker as opposed to like more of a stiletto heel. So all of these outfits, I try to make them cute but comfortable. So um, that is one of the reasons why I really like the like the more squared heel on the boots. And so, yeah, these are super comfy. I feel like I can run in these boots. Simple, just a little sweater dress, some boots and that's it so this next one i'm going to show you guys is going to be this one here um so this is just like a burnt orange and it's got all of these like buttons and they're gold and that just goes down they don't actually open they're just sewn in for decoration but um anyway let me go ahead and put this one on and i will be right back okay so this is the third one um this is what it looks like on so like i mentioned it's got the little detailing this one is like three quarters of a sleeve so it doesn't go down all the way this one comes down a little bit lower but not too much where it shows too much cleavage or anything like that so again like this just goes back to um just trying to be as comfortable as possible since they are kind of short um, and then I paired this one with um, just all black boots. And then again, this one has like the thick, um, chunky heel and super, super comfortable. And they're super cozy too. Like I usually like to wear, right now I'm not wearing them um, just because I'm recording and stuff and I'm having to switch out my shoes all the time. But I usually like to wear like those socks that go all the way up and then you just pop on your um, boots and it makes it a lot easier too. That way you don't have to be, like if you're wearing um, jeans and you have those um, socks over the jeans so that way you're not having to tuck in like the jean inside, to, uh, inside of the boot. Those thigh high um, socks, I guess, those work really, really well with thigh high boots and um, that's typically what I would do. And then my legs would be even cozier because if it is cold and showing a little bit of like thigh um will be kind of chilly so so a lot of this stuff i've had for a long time like well this jacket i've had for a few years um some of this stuff is newer some of this stuff is new and some of this stuff i've had for a while so um like this coat for example is just a staple in my closet i love it i wanted to get like an all black one surprisingly i do not have like an all black trench coat um, but I feel like this is super cute. It's got um, like this weird, I don't know how to explain it, like a black grayish print. I don't really know what it is, but it's kind of like a wool material. But it's really cute. You can button it up and 
and um, wear it this way. Kind of cover it up a little bit more if you don't want like your outfit to show. Something like that. So on to outfit number four, which is another dress. It's gonna be this dress here. And this one is really like truly like a sweater dress. I, just because, I say that just because it's a little bit more loose and more, um, you know, sweaters are not usually like super tight and fitted. So I feel like this is more cozy in that sense and more comfy. It does have some of these like rips on the side. Um, so if you wanted to, you could wear like leggings underneath or maybe even some spandex. Let me go ahead and put this on real quick and I will show you guys how I style this one. Okay, so this dress is super wide and just not fitted at all as you can see. One thing that I like to do so that it fits a little bit higher and a little bit more fitted, I could take a belt and kind of um, just wrap it around the waist and that'll snatch my waist a little bit. Or I've also been doing this little technique where I take um, either like a sweater dress or um, a sweater and I can crop it and by doing that, so what I do is I take it underneath my like my sports bra or my bra and I just tuck it underneath like that and then that instantly like gives it a lift it also kind of like uh, curves gives you a little bit more curve it just adds a little bit of um, you have like that edgy like loose type of look but at the same time, you have a little bit of a uh, form showing through. So that's what I like to do. If I can't, I, you know, today I was looking for my, I have like a little black belt that I haven't used in forever, but I thought it would look cute with this one. So I wanted to uh, show you guys with that little belt. I did not find it. So this is my backup plan. This is usually what I would do. So like I mentioned, it's got this little like ripping detail, like distressed moment here. By doing that little technique that I showed you, um, you can make it as high as you want it. You can make it as like tight as you want it. So I feel like this is cute enough. Um, when it gets a little bit higher like this, that's when you definitely want to pair it with like spandex or something. It, it looks cute. Nonetheless, I like it. Um, yeah, but this is like, you can tell, like, this is a very different dress compared to the other ones. Like with the detailing on the cuffs, it just, it's like more ripped, more distressed on both of them along the collar line as well. And it goes all the way in the back and then the little rips on the side. Oh, and this is like, I don't know if the camera is catching it really well, but this is more of like an olive color. I know, it, I feel like it looks kind of gray. Like a little bit gray on camera, but it is like an olive -y color, like a dark olive color. All right, so that is the last um, dress that I wanted to show you guys. Um, mind you, I have a lot of sweater dresses, a lot of sweater dresses. They're super simple and casual that you just, I feel like you have to have them in every single color. A uh, black is a definite must. I probably have like close to 10 black ones. They're all different, but um, I just showed you just like the very basic one. Um, but yeah, during the winter, I love to wear sweater dresses with the thigh high boots. Um, I kept the black ones on to go with this dress. I'll show you guys the white ones in just a second. So I think I'm gonna move on to outfit number five, I believe. So this is outfit number five. I know this doesn't look like super like fall, winter at all. It looks more, I would say probably more like summer, spring. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with um, a little cardigan. So I feel like any uh, cardigan that you have just definitely um, pulls an outfit together. So you can have like a cute little crop top or just a plain, uh, just like a tank top or anything. Top it with the cardigan and it just looks um, so much better, so much um, warmer and cozier. With this outfit, I have a pair of distressed um, American Eagle jeans. I can't really tell you where all of my items are from because like I said, some of them are pretty old. And um, But I do shop a lot at Ross, I shop a lot at Macy's, I shop at, if I do online shopping, I shop at Fashion Nova and Miss Lola. Um, and so 
Anyway, yeah, I can't, I can't really tell you where I get all my items from, but my jeans, I will tell you that my jeans, my absolute favorite jeans, they're so stretchy and they just fit so well. And they're just so comfy. All of my jeans are from American Eagle. And I was into Hollister jeans for a long time, but it started to get a little bit, I don't know, like they started to kind of look the same to me. So I started to wear the American Eagle ones and I really, really like them. So I have this cute little like crop top. Um, I think it's snake print and this is like a black and white snake print. So this is um, just a plain cardigan. It's super cozy and it's got a little bit of like, like you can kind of see through it. I don't know if that's a good way to show you, but so I was just mentioning how I have just like a simple little crop top and this one has a little bit of like shoulder fluff. I love shoulder stuff like shoulder padding or like any accents kind of here in this area. I love, 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 love that kind of style. And I usually like to wear it off the shoulder and I feel like that looks super cute um, with the black booties. These heels, it's squared once again. I feel like they're so short. I definitely would not go any shorter than that. But um, yeah, this is um, how I would basically take like my spring outfit and turn it into a little bit more fall. I've been into like the snake print a lot lately. On to outfit number six. Okay, so this is outfit, what did I say, number six, I believe. I know I'm gonna lose count at one point during this video, but um, this is just um, jeans again, distressed jeans. So this is just a darker wash compared to the ones that I just had on right now. And I just paired this outfit with um, some little booties. Again, I don't even know how to like show you my shoes. You can kind of see them if I stand like way over here. Um, but they're just some cute little boots. If you haven't noticed already, all of my boots have heels. So not super high heel, but um, the chunky heel again. And these are just, um, I don't know what material, I can't even tell you what material they are. They just have like a little like uh, lace going down and super comfy again. And this sweater, so, so soft. When you wear jeans with sweaters, you can pair, I mean, you can style it a little differently, but um, I'll just show you a couple ways. Like you can um, have this, you know, just sitting like loose, like normal. Kind of tends to rise up a little bit after you know throughout the day or like i mentioned you can also um try to make it crop i personally wouldn't really like i actually i like the way that it looks just um just normal just loose and not showing any skin that's i feel like fall you don't need to show skin that's the point like you get to just wear you know, um, comfy clothes and just <laughs> be comfy within your skin and pandemic just hit. So if we need to hide a little bit of like weight that we've put on or anything like that, like this is the way to go. Just going with like a loose sweater, comfy, not have to worry about any like tight, tight fitting clothes or anything like that. So that's what I specifically love about just wearing a cute sweater like this and Again, just pairing it super simple, just with some jeans, some little booties, and the sweater, and that's it. You could even put a trench over it if it's like super cold. A little jacket would be um, very cute as well. And um, I didn't show you guys um, how the thigh high boots would go with jeans. They also look so cute, and I didn't really plan an outfit for that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys leggings and how you can wear leggings with um, boots and I have three other boots that I haven't used yet so I'll probably pair it with those and on to outfit number hmm, seven. so I decided to go and grab just a plain t-shirt and then I thought okay I'm just gonna show you guys what um, the thigh high boots would look with jeans. These are the white ones um, that I have that have a stiletto heel. And these are the only ones that I have that have a stiletto heel. Um, I have some little booties that also have a stiletto heel. They're just not as comfortable. Like walking in them, 
I don't know if it's just this particular, they're not bad, but like they're not as comfy. So um, I prefer to wear the thick chunky heel. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna style this outfit a couple different ways because you can just switch it up with like the cardigan like I mentioned. And typically when I would wear thigh high boots, I wouldn't wear ripped jeans just because the distressing is mainly like in this area, which is not very much. It doesn't look bad, bad, but I feel like it doesn't stand out as much. So I would stick to just plain denim. And um, I, so I don't love how this looks, but that's personally what I would do. And I would pair this with this little cardigan is super cute and it's got like um, some slits on the sides and it's not very thick so it's not as warm. That's the only bad thing that I don't like layering. Um, I don't like layering like this and then putting like a jacket over this. Sometimes like if it hangs outside like like if you're you have your jacket on and then this is your jacket's like up here or something like that like it's tough you have to really find the jacket to go over it so sometimes honestly i'll just be like you know what i'll freeze from here to the car it's totally fine and not wear anything over it but again i feel like it's such a cute little cardigan it's got like i mentioned i don't know if you can see it oh here we go um it's got like the snake print and this is like a gray like gray tones and a um, just a plain tank top. This is a little bit thicker. Um, just a plain tank top. Uh, I have plenty of these because of this reason. So I could just put on a plain black shirt and then put any cardigan over it. And it just looks really, really cute. So that's what I would do. I also have one more cardigan that I wanna show you with this specific outfit because I didn't really, um, plan anything else for it but it's pretty similar to this cardigan it's just black and it um has a lot of holes in it so this is like a distressed um cardigan and i love 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 this cardigan so with the black matching the cardigan i feel like that's super cute um would i wear it with black boots um I probably would, it wouldn't look bad, but I feel like it might be a bit much. So something like this is pretty and it's not like all black. It's got like the white with the jean and I feel like it's really casual looking. It's cute and again, it's not warm. This is not warm at all, super see-through. It's like a fishnet. It's got like holes all over it. Well, I guess literally, yeah, it does have like little holes. It's like a meshy kind of material. And then it also has like uh, random rips in certain places as well. While I have these jeans on, I'm gonna show you another sweater that I have. I already did the yellow one, but I um, really like this one as well. And it goes with the white. This is really cute. I typically don't layer so much, so I wouldn't really keep that on. I guess that's TMI, whatever, <laughs> do what you want. But um, this is a really cozy sweater, super thick, uh, really warm. It's got a turtleneck. I love turtlenecks. Um, you guys want a little trick for when putting on like a sweater or dress or something that's super tight in the neck and you don't want to mess up your makeup? This is what I do. I put my hair all over my face to kind of like shield my makeup. I squeeze my lips together so none of my lipstick gets anywhere. And then I put it over. And the sweater actually doesn't touch any of my makeup, just my hair, but you can't tell. <laughs> so that's my little trick that I do. So here's another sweater. So just, I feel like it's so easy to dress for the fall, but sometimes we kind of get lost or forget or just need a little bit of inspiration. I feel like that's kind of what I did this video for to just um, remind you, I mean, we're in quarantine and stuff, but that doesn't mean, um, you know, when we do get the opportunity to go out that you can't look cute and just have something to look forward to. I personally don't love the fall or the winter. I hate the cold. So um, I try to look forward to at least dressing up cute. So 
yeah this is me i'm like running out of breath trying on so much like trying on clothes is exhausting honestly um but yeah this is a little bit more um like you have more covered it's not as fitted at all it's like super comfy and loose um all the while it's really really warm it's got a little bit it's like cuffed a little bit here so it's a little fitted like here at the wrists but it's super like loose so this is another outfit white boots again i would probably wear black boots it doesn't really matter and this is like a black gray white um toned sweater so yeah i just wanted to show you guys before i take off the jeans i should probably get out of these jeans and these boots already but i do have a couple other outfits man i wonder <laughs> i think i'm gonna do i have a white sweater i bet that would look so cute with these boots let me do one more and um i will move on to like the legging this actually looks really cute like super classy i don't know i feel like <laughs> i don't know how you can take it off and make it classy with ripped jeans but i feel like i managed to do that somehow um i think this shirt is a little see-through which what white piece of clothing is not see-through but um i do have just like my little sports bra underneath i probably wouldn't wear that that's kind of why i'm talking about it but i would not wear anything that shows through if anything i would wear like something nude underneath versus black um but this little shirt is so cute it's got like pearls on it and um i don't know how that's gonna go when i wash it but i will probably have to be really careful with uh washing this shirt i have not worn this before um this is one of my newer pieces but i feel like this shirt is so cute long sleeve it's got a little bow tie here in the um whatever this is is part of the shirt and then in the back it's just just like normal just like a normal t-shirt not super fitted it's a little bit loose so cute i feel like this outfit is actually really really cute i wasn't even thinking about putting this together i'm glad i did i'll have to go out and wear this outfit somewhere but it is really comfortable um just a long sleeve so it's not super super warm but it's warm enough um i would definitely wear like a jacket over it so yeah that is outfit number honestly i already lost track i kind of put some outfits in between that i wasn't planning to so i don't know what outfit number this is <laughs> um but yeah so i'm going to show you guys a couple other outfits i know i don't want to make i definitely don't want to make this video super long like i wanted to make it 10 minutes long we'll see how long it goes when i edit it um on to outfit number i don't know so finally getting into leggings and sweaters the coziest way to go i feel like um, jeans are comfy dresses can be comfy ish um, but leggings and sweaters i feel like we live in leggings nowadays and um, pairing it up with um, a cute sweater or whatever you're going to wear it with you have to i feel like with leggings you have to be pretty careful because a lot of leggings the material is so thin that they're so like see-through and sometimes can be kind of hard to manage to do that these are actually one of my favorite pairs of leggings that i have they have um, some rips on them and um, they're super high-waisted so they go all the way up and um they're really cute but sometimes in the wrong lighting it could be a little bit revealing so i have to make sure to wear them with something that covers um kind of like this front area and a little bit on the back this sweater is so comfy and it fits just perfect i paired this outfit with some uh, black booties these are kind of more like i don't know how to explain it but these are like those like kind of like a rocker style uh booty can't think of the name for these boots but anyway i'm super comfortable again the thick square heel and um this little sweater just has a little bit of detailing here on the side i think it doesn't have it yeah it just has it on this side and i believe it's supposed to be meant to go like off the shoulder a little bit i wonder oh maybe it's supposed to go off to the side uh, no wonder I couldn't figure it out. So let me see if I can fix this. I believe this is meant, hmm. No, I don't know. So it's got another button down here. 
meaning that it's supposed to go off a little bit more off the shoulder because I don't think I could put it off the shoulder on both sides. It's kind of tight, so that's why I say that. So I don't know, something like that. It's cute, it's comfy, and I really, really like it. I have, um, I don't know how many like black sweaters, um, but they just go so well with everything. So you always have to have black, I feel like. Um, just black is just a color that goes with everything. So um, yeah, I don't even know what I'm rambling about. This is outfit number, we already know that I lost count. So I'm not even gonna try to figure it out. Okay, so for the last outfit, um, I didn't I didn't have like a specific particular way of like putting these outfits together. <laughs> Threw a couple pieces on here and then I just thought, okay, I'll just go with it. Comfy leggings. I feel like I could really stretch in these. And <laughs> these ones are kind of cool. These ones have like it's like a two-tone. So it's got like pleather texture on the front and then just the back is just spandex i think so um this is just another turtleneck sweater very simple this one's just um a little bit tighter here around the waist and then it gets pretty loose um and then same thing in the like in the cuffs around the wrist super cute super comfy cozy and then i've paired this outfit to give it a little bit to give it a little bit more, you know, so it's not super just like all black and plain. I have like these really cute little booties. These are the other stiletto heels that I have in my booties. Um, these are sparkly, like the long ones that I have. Let me show you. Sparkles. <sighs> so out of breath. I would probably want to hold my hair up and um, get it out of the way, especially if I have like the turtleneck. It does look really cute with your hair down um, to have your with a turtleneck to have your hair down, but um, I don't know if you prefer to get it out of the way. I feel like a little like bun or something would look really cute. Just like a cute little messy bun or I don't know, a high bun, messy. Because I honestly never wear beanies, but I wanna make it the year where I'm gonna start. I don't wear beanies. I don't wear like caps, like baseball caps or anything like that. I do have a few, I just, Every time I go to try it on, I'm like, I, I don't know who you are. <laughs> it just doesn't go with me. But yeah, cute little beanie. Um, always um, makes an outfit cozier and just looks super cute. So um, this is another thing like I always like to do if I do like all black, like I said, I'll, I'll try to pair it with some cute shoes um or if not wear something completely different color and make it stand out make it pop so it's not just like all black and you know what i mean do you know what i mean <laughs> okay so anyways that is it for today's video so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your guys's favorite outfits were do you prefer like sweater dresses leggings jeans sweat like what do you like to um wear during this cold season depending i guess where you're at but here in washington it's super cold and i feel like it's gonna get really bad with snow this year so we'll see hopefully not um but yeah let me know what you guys um like to wear let me know if you guys liked this kind of video as well and if you guys would like to see any more try on hauls i actually had a lot of fun putting this together and um, just doing something a little bit different. I know not all of my followers are into makeup, so I do have a couple of, of other ideas if you guys wanna see more try on hauls. So just let me know in the comments down below. And thank you guys so, so much for watching and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye guys.